Hi there, I'm Justin Wissenhunt from Montana Instruments, and in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to teach you how to navigate the user interface on our Gen 3 Crowd Station. This user interface is so simple and intuitive to use that you'll be an expert user in no time. This video will focus primarily on the major components and design of the user interface, so make sure to check out our other videos to find out more about the individual features in the system. When you turn on the system, it always starts in the main operate view for the sample chamber. The main operate view is the primary place to operate and control your system. The main functions in your system will be found here, like cooling down, warming up, pulling vacuum, and venting to exchange samples. Buttons in the system can be pressed and held to get pop-up help text to explain what the button does. Slide your finger away from the button to cancel. Any button that causes a major change in the system state will pop up a confirmation dialog to double check with you before making the change. These confirmation dialogs will also provide contextual information and present any options available that affect that change. The main operate view shows the primary information that is relevant during normal operation of the system. Things like sample chamber pressure, the platform temperature, and platform temperature stability are displayed in the center of the screen along with messages to indicate what the system is currently doing. The current operation can be stopped at any time. Pop-up messages will appear at the top of the screen to keep you informed. Since things can happen while you are away from your system, any messages that are critical for you to see will appear in a pop-up that requires you to acknowledge them. If your system has a sample thermometer or ATSM installed, you will see these channels displayed across the top of the screen. Press these channels to get the controls used to operate them. The graphs view provides a visual way to see the most important information in your system graphed over time. The overview is the place to come if you want to see more details about all the components in your system at a single glance. This screen is useful when learning more about how your system works or when troubleshooting issues. The components in your system are grouped into subsystems like the vacuum system, the cooler, and the sample chamber. Depending on which options your system has, you may see other subsystems here as well. More details about each component can be found by pressing on the components. Details like the number of hours, hardware, firmware versions, and diagnostic information can be found here. If your system has more than one instrument installed, such as a cryostation with nano positioners, then the button in the lower left corner can be used to switch between instruments. Each instrument has its own views designed specifically for that instrument. You can lock the display in your system by using the lock button. This can help indicate to other users that your system is currently in use or being controlled remotely. Press the logo to easily get our customer service information. Slide to unlock.
settings and less frequently used tools are found in the system menu. Various categories are found here to help you customize your instrument, view event logs, and download data. The instrument settings category is the place to find settings you may want to adjust to customize your system, such as renaming user temperature channels or adjusting PID gains. System settings contain information like serial number, software version, release notes, and your system's time zone used when logging data. There are also buttons for gracefully restarting or powering off your system. The remote connection settings allow you to enable and disable different ways to control your system remotely. These features require that your system has been connected to a network using an Ethernet cable. The remote graphical display feature can be enabled to allow you to operate the user interface from your computer using virtual networking technology. Instrument scripting can be toggled on or off for each individual instrument in your system. Instrument scripting provides programmatic control of your instrument and is very useful for real-time data logging and remote scripted control synchronized with your other lab equipment. Your system's IP address and MAC address are also found here. Additional onboard service notes and documentation about controlling your system remotely can be found by navigating to your system's IP address in your web browser. The data category is used to download data that is stored inside the system to a USB drive for processing on your computer. Select a time frame for the data to download to your USB drive. The event log shows a history of all messages that have been displayed and is useful for debugging or reviewing what happened while you were away. The maintenance category is used to find information about maintenance procedures to troubleshoot and maintain your system. Tech support category contains information that is useful for customer service when helping troubleshoot or maintain your system. If your system is connected to the internet, MI Remote Support allows customer service to easily support you remotely and provide software updates. Use the Hide Menu button to close the menu. I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to navigate our Gen 3 CrowdStation user interface. Now jump in and get started.